hello everyone hope you all are doing good and in today's video we are going to discuss that if you have got a high offer like an high package from a service based organization so like should you consider it or go for a product base or a startup because like this happens when a guy or a girl gets multiple offers and there sometimes like um, past covid so service based organization have also like try to match the offers so in that case like uh, should you consider uh, joining it at a high package or should you go for a product based organization at a low package or maybe a startup so we are going to discuss these things in this video again uh, like let me tell you that uh, what is considered to be an high package so let's say if you are uh, 3 years of experience and uh, you are getting between 3x to 5x after switching okay and if you are above this then it is considered to be an high package let's say for example you are 3 years of experience and uh, if you are getting 15 lpa more than 15 lpa at 3 years of experience then you are somehow at a higher package same goes for 7 years of experience that if you are getting above 35 lpa then you are considered to be like above not uh, like uh, highly paid but still like you are above the median right and if you are if you lie uh, between 3 to 5x then you are okay and like as we go on till 10 then this is like uh, this thing is not uh, 100% true but still like at 10 also more than 15 lpa like an average engineer i'm talking about like at 10 years i expect you to be at least team lead so like if you're getting above this then again same process follow and it should be like follow till 12 to 13 years of age 12 to 13 years of experience after that like uh, things go certain other way okay so this is only applicable if you are below 12 to 13 years of experience and um, just multiply your your year of experience and if you are paid between 3x to 5x then you are okay otherwise like you are on the higher side and if you are below 3x after covid then you are somehow like underpaid i'll say okay now once we have decided what does high package means so if a service based organization by service based organization i mean uh, the mass recruiters so in that case i'll consider tcs infi wipro hcl etc 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 and uh, like at the end i'll say nagaro just because it's an like good service based organization okay so if these like the medium service based organization are offering you more than 5x okay so obviously like there is some catch because see the thing is that service based organization what kind of work they do they assign you in some project and uh, you are early build okay so whatever uh, the billing you get so company has to take out at least 50% uh, out of it uh, so as to because your manager is not uh, like getting bill okay and the other infrastructure cost so i'll not uh, get more into it but try to understand that uh, they cannot offer you more than 50% of your hourly rate and in some case uh, like pre covid i have seen like whatever he is he is uh, like earning for the organization only 10 to like 15% is uh, given to him as a part of salary and other 5% as his like cost fixed cost uh, of an employer okay and uh, like company used to earn at least 70 to 80% profit on a single employer but like as a like think it uh, as an organization wise also that they have to like they have hr okay they have admin they have finance then uh, they have r&d then they have managers they have vps executive vps so everyone has like their cut from your salary only so 
like there's nothing wrong in that like that's how the organization work that's the difference between a business and a job but like okay so you understand like how things work in a service based organization after that uh, coming to the work culture and the benefits so service based organization don't provide you that uh, like good benefits and for leaves also like if if you take a leave then your billing will be stopped so that's why this is the reason you are advised not to take so many leaves like apart from 1 to 2 leave per month there is no other leave per month okay so in that case also like you have to consider okay now should you consider joining now in this part here comes the answer so i'll say so let consider three examples okay you have got 5x salary from a startup and second a product based organization okay and third one is service based organization so the positive of a startup is that uh, like you can be paid 7x also okay but the negative is that there will not be a job security and the high work pressure will be there okay so if you can like if you are unmarried if you are young in your career i'll suggest you to go for a startup because there like you get to understand every like from developer to ba everyone is sitting under a same roof and they are building and you get to understand the product end to end okay so to understand end to end cycle i suggest once in a lifetime you should join a startup and see like how things work right from like finance to everything you are like you can see and uh, how things work as an organization okay coming to a product based organization the good part is that uh, let's say you are getting 5x here also at 5 years of experience so i am considering all 5 years of experience okay so if you are getting 5x here and the positive is that you are uh, got good amount of leaves like i have seen like 3 to 4 leaves per month apart from saturday sundays so and but on taking leaves also you are not asked like why are you taking if you apply for leave at least 1 to 2 weeks before then it is easily manageable okay so this is positive like leaves and other benefits also like cafeteria food like there are many benefits okay that we can discuss in some other video and the negative part i can see in a product based organization is that somehow like the learning and uh, is limited to your own product only so this is as compared to in a startup okay and if you are getting if you have an offer from service based organization at 5x and you know the negative like the repetitive work and the positive is the work life balance is good okay again like leaves you cannot take uh, one week leave without without struggling that what i have seen in my career at service based organization and uh, like here food also they provide good food and so let's say you have got three offers one from a startup one from product base and one from a service based organization and you are at 5 years of experience so if you have not previously worked at a startup so if you are like right now in a startup and you have got all three offers then i'll suggest you to go for a product based organization otherwise if you are currently serving in a service based i'll suggest you to go for a startup okay and if you are in a startup then i'll suggest you to go for a product base okay that i think have i have already covered and like if you are in product base then i'll suggest you to go for a product base organization only okay so that depends from where are you coming okay so i hope uh, like i'll i was able to clear that uh, if you have uh, offers from these different kind of organization then uh, which one you should consider and now like how much time you should stay in a service based organization okay so i'll say ideal 2 to 3 years 
like if you get a good offer at one year then obviously like there is no harm in switching but try to like stay there for two to three like at least two years okay to understand the product and everything okay so just to sum up everything i'll suggest you to not join service based organization at a high package because understand one more thing so at 5 years of experience if you are getting 25 lpa then there is a possibility that your team lead might be getting less than you because he may be have stayed in the same organization from past 5 years and he may be getting around 20 to 23 or maybe your manager if your manager is let's say at 30 and you are at and he is like 15 years of experience and you at 5 years are getting is getting 25 lpa then somehow there will be a drift and like that's my personal opinion and i have told you everything like every calculation um, but i will not recommend you because there there is a risk also because like uh, companies providing you high, high package a service based organization and if they are not um, like able to get the cost out of you then there is a high chance that within 6 month or 1 year they can say ye tata bye bye the other like bad part is appraisals so your next appraisal will not be good and uh, like i have seen in ibm that there is a term called like already in the upper band kind of thing so like in the next appraisal they are not going to give you a good hike so that's why like if you have like got a good offer from product base go for it otherwise like join service based because you have no other option okay i hope uh, i was able to clear your doubt and just comment down below like uh, whether if you get an offer from service based organization at a really high package so are you interested in joining it or not and if not why not okay so thank you guys thank you for watching my video bye